um, niches has been very overwhelming. It has been a huge um, development for my personal and professional life. I, this mission has really brought um, open a lot of um, a lot of doors for local people, for the PNH, for myself, for the Mini Just Moon Pals, and I serve with great um, accomplishment and pride this mission. The presence of women is vital in any peacekeeping mission. Um, women bring women are an essential ingredient in uh, in missions because they work with kindness, they work with compassion, and um, it's not just a role in peacekeeping, it's um, a role that is, is, is portrayed with the heart. And when we meet uh, other UN Paul women or locals, women, when I do community engagement, you can see that kindness and compassion that is, um, is so rewarding when we share it. challenges as a UN peacekeeper is uh, balancing um, professional and home professional and home life uh, being so far away um, and other challenges are within the mission um, as a woman gender parity is a big issue and we have to keep on striving to, to get balance and strive for excellence for women in missions and with that portray that to the locals uh, local communities that we meet with so there are a few challenges for peacekeepers um, that we see on a daily basis, but I think every day is an achievement and, and we move forward. Stress is, is dealt with, for me, it's daily exercise. I go to the gym every day. I do daily med meditation. And Sometimes I go to Ethel, India and we do yoga. I do a lot of reading and I just, I know how to manage my stress very well here. And it's just to put a pause on your daily tasks and just think of something else just to recenter myself so I can give to the mission the next day. with uh, colleagues from different countries, men and women, has been um, a great eye-opener. So we're so diverse, we come from so many different backgrounds, cultures, um, and just sharing, learning, um, noting on the differences, and then putting them together and work as a team, for me has been outstanding. I've really learned um, from other, other uh, nationalities, other work ethics, from other countries, just as they learn from, from my work ethics uh, at home from Canada. Um, and I think through all that um, melting pot of, of experiences and diversity is, is just um, is just overwhelming and it's, it's, it's wonderful to share that after and put it in actual work for the mission. National Police, I work very closely with the uh, Minijus uh, Women's Network uh, and I'm chair of the Minijus Women's Network and I also um, reinvigorated a contact with the, uh, the PNH Women's uh, Committee and through that we have uh, daily meet, uh, weekly meetings uh, where we mentor them and we have, we're developing presently an action plan so when we leave Minijus they will have a solid uh, strategic planning for the women, will, we will leave our footprint behind for these women to continue the role of um, the Women's Committee for the PNH and develop other women and mentor other women. Uh, this being my first mission, I've actually attained many achievements. I'm very proud um, and very humbled with everything that I've learned. Uh, achievement has a CDT. Uh, conduct and discipline officer, my trainings. Uh, before I came here, I didn't have much training, experience trainings. I, through research, I reinvigorated, you can say, uh, different uh, types of trainings by role play, 
uh, by discussions, by scenarios uh, for uh, prevention on sexual abuse and exploitation. Uh, through my community engagement, um, different aspects, I had um, um, pocket cards made in Creole to give to the victims. Um, I've involved also uh, the UN polls, FPUs, to, to community engagement with me. It's, it's been just overwhelming. The Women's Network, wow, what a great, uh, what a great experience. Uh, leadership uh, changes culture, and that's what we're doing here for women inside Minijus and for the PNH women. So uh, it's been very rewarding for me. Since I have a few um, hats to wear, I do my, con my uh, conduct and discipline uh, work where well, we can read some, some reports from victims, uh, victims assistance for pro, pro bono cases. Um, also, Women's Network, we have, I have um, daily contact, email contacts with the committee to see what's next. Uh, since we're closing the mission, it's a very busy period, especially with uh, prevention of sexual exploitation and abuse. Um, we've got to really be proactive about that. So there's a lot of uh, community engagement going on, and and I also give some conversational English class for local staff. I volunteer an hour, um, and it's been so rewarding for them to actually communicate. So my day, it's not really routine, it changes, but there's a lot of work that's done uh, uh, in, one, in one day for sure. Peacekeeping is not just a role. For many women, and for myself, especially for myself, it's not just playing a role. It's 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 um, doing things with heart. It's what's reflected in your heart. You give back. So it's a peacekeeping role. It's not just working. It's working with passion, with heart, with kindness, and just that transpires to achievements. That little steps that we achieve and change, and and security and uh, gender balance and and helping victims and making women um, exercise their human rights. That's what women bring to missions. Well, I think that we need more of that. I think um, the leaders, when we have good senior management, who give us a voice, like we have here in Mini Just, and we can thrive in excellence and balance. And um, we started off in October with 11% and we're up to 33% of women. We uh, we have more women in senior management since uh, that time, so I think it's very important and we can't just stop. It's a continuing, a continuing evol uh, evolving doors that we have to keep on pushing and, and getting feedback from women so we can move forward and have gender parity as a total in the United Nations, in every mission. message is um, peacekeeping is I'm a police officer by nature um, peacekeeping has been just so rewarding gratifying um, it's just a learning experience I've learned so much from my senior management and what I enjoy the most is my trainings with different rights is, is just it has just been um, a great ride for me and I hope that uh, the passion I have which continues it's done through kindness and through compassion to reach to the local people the local Haitians um, and just grow from there and the feedback I get is just overwhelming I can't even put it in words.